Bag fuel, baby. Heineken is here. ESSO, everyone sees sounds official in the building. Ooh. Shout to Southside, Jamaica, Queens, always. My man, fresh off the turnpike. Oh, man, you know. It's your boy, man. I know I know you working because you was at a big concert. Yeah, it was crazy. Philly looking really, really sh- tough out there. Yeah, it was good. My I didn't man, think you was going to make it today. I said, hi, this nigga not going to make it today. Nah, Niggas out I, work is everything. Night. I got it. Mm. Gotta get the work done, you mm-hmm. know. You always been a worker, man. Mike Knox. Yeah, you already know I'm here. What's Ooh. up? Philly represented. Ooh, when we talked on the phone, he's like, the fuck you going to Ishka Bibbles for? You gotta go to Max's. Yeah, I gotta go to Max's. That's I don't Max's. like Max's. I, mean, I, I don't Bibbles. like Max's, bro. <laughs> me, I'm a I Max's like fan. Bibbles. He told me you like Ishka Bibbles. <laughs> yeah, see? Damn, damn. You That's told me all you told yeah, me about all my and, business. And I was mad at y'all, and I'm like, Especially you. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of gets a light pass because we didn't formally know yeah, each other. Yeah. Yeah. How's you in the city and you ain't calling? I, I, I be in and out a lot of cities real quick. I don't be there for a lot of hours, but I'm like, but yo, I fucked that package two. up. Now, yo, bro, I ain't going to cap. I yeah. get up and drive down with my wife Anytime I bring my bottle of champagne, it. I just go boom. Just go for right the straight there. Yeah. We're going to pull up to Max's with the champagne and meet you out there. Real but, shit. Uh, just, just call me first. Oh, I know. <laughs> Don't just oh, I call know. me first. Oh, I know. Right? Oh, what? Because, you know, he's been blessed. Every time we went to Max's, yeah. right? Yeah. It's only been three people on the line. And I told oh, him. Yeah, you. Yeah, yo, you he saw yeah. me, man, loving that yeah, too, yeah, though. Yeah, 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 I yeah. said, yo. We went there two, three times. The most we had to wait was four people in front of us. Y'all be I see, sitting in there? Huh? Y'all be no, sitting no, there. Oh, right, no, 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 right, bro. Right, right. No. I told him, no, bro. The worst we ever did was eat on the hood of the car. Yeah. That's not bad. But I, That's how it used to be. Thank yeah, you. But That's not bad. How do we need to do bad. it now? Leave. Get the fuck out of there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Knox, you have an incredible journey in this yeah. hip hop world, in the street world, in this business world, man. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to straight the, I'm trying to shake the street part. It's a little hard though. But well, why? Why has it been difficult shaking well, I the mean, street? I mean, when you say, you know what it's like. It's like I learned being in this industry. Nobody wants a problem. Mm. Nobody wants to invest in a problem. <sighs> okay. You know what I'm saying? So, Thank you. I used to be like a real problem. Oh, I'm aware. What, what, what were some problems that cost you money? We're not trying to be. Um, nah, you could be whatever. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, but but um, um, for me, I. What's what's a mistake that cost you the biggest bag? Clubs beating up security in clubs. Mm, I heard about that. Yeah, I think that used to be like we don't want him in these clubs. Mm. Like, oh, fuck your you money not, up. Yeah, you can't make no money when you can't be in the clubs. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. It would be kind of, you know, crazy. I, I had a moment. So what made you, like, what was the point where you chilled and realized, like, yo, this is messing up my paper. I got I to gotta turn this around. Oh, um, when everybody else was making money and I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I think that's, that's real talk That's right kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, yo, like, a big event coming, I can't get in. It's like, do not let him in, the yeah. front or the back. Got you. And Jesus. if you let him in, you fire it. Man, I'll never it's, see him again. Yeah. So I had to fix that. What what, did, what what was the process to mending those relationships? And I think time that's, that's and, and just, you know, uh, not coming so deep all the time. I used to be a guy that run around with I'm aware. 40, feet, 40, 50 people and whatever they was on, I was on. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Not really realizing that it's... It's always going to be Mike Knox and them did it. Mm. It's not going to be this person, that person. Mm. So I had to understand that and then calm it down. And then, you know, my supporters, like my team, you know, Mm -hmm. like, yo, we can't move like that. I mean, the environment you come from, Philly, you got to be rugged. Yeah. It's a different mentality, a different animal. All people know is city of brotherly Brotherly love, love. the landmarks, the cheesesteak spots. They don't understand. Yeah, that's the Rocky statue. That's down there. Yeah, that, that ain't, listen. The that little, ain't Philly. That ain't, listen, no. Listen, the little trap houses where they got the after-hours spots. I've yeah. been in those. They still got slavery in Philly, I heard. <laughs> Yo, listen. <laughs> they, 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 they got dudes boxed up in cribs that don't even listen, know what they, year it is, my, dog. Listen, they, they couldn't even get that off with us right now. Like, the slave, like nah. It's too crazy. It's like, somebody gets shot now, it's like, yeah, he did. Nobody, what you mean he dead though? Like, because the guns they using now, you're not going to survive it. Wow. Didn't, didn't Tony Yayo say that? That yeah. the guns is, is different now. Yeah. It's different now. Like, you know, back in the day, it's like such and such got shot. 
oh, he all right? It's like, you're going to say he all right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he, he cool. It's like regular. It's like normal. It's like, oh, he got hit with a nine. Or he got hit with a 380. Or he got he hit, hit with, with 40 cows. The right biggest now. thing he could have got hit with is, if he ain't get hit with a 357 mm-hmm. or a, a, a shotgun, mm-hmm. he's all right. Now it's like, you know he didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, where does the money come from to get that type of artillery? I, I, I don't know. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Mike's like, don't play with me. Yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm out of that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because they've knocked so many of your dudes, man, or people yeah. from your town. Think about, I don't know what your relationship with, but mm-hmm. AR, how they use No, I mean, AR was, was, was really cool. You know, it's, it's crazy because... Mm-hmm. Um, not speaking on his situation because I'm one of them guys I don't like to speak on no, people's situations because it, it's, it makes it seem like you're talking down on them. Guys. Mm-hmm. It's like you're saying, I told you so. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But me and ARM was like really, really cool prior to him going to jail and me going to jail. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I kind of like used to converse with him a little bit while I was in and I used to tell him like, yo, bro, like just kind of like, you know, be as easy as you can. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the, this hip-hop world, you know, from mm-hmm. how you... L- live your life as so everybody that authenticity is like gold but then it bites you back Mm because they were like why why'd you and then they always say you ain't have to do that but Mm -hmm. bro if i ain't doing that you ain't fucking with me yeah i think that's the corny way like you gotta Mm -hmm. understand something like where i come from i was on my own since i was 15 so i had to figure it out Mm -hmm. you know what i mean a lot of the things that these rappers do now on instagram and you know uh, fighting and you, just all the wild stuff that they post now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to figure. I mean, I'm pretty sure we all in the same age bracket. Yeah, these yes. are things we was doing when they, before the camera exactly. was even. Yeah, you couldn't pull the camera out. So uh, it, that's what I tell nigga. If you pull the camera out, like, 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 you was considered chill, to be chill. a snitch or yeah, something. Damn it! Like, like yo, what you doing? Got one picture a night when everybody was yeah. in the picture together. Yeah, yeah. taking a after pic- that. The, the illest thing you said was taking a picture was taking an event. No, it was a big deal. And you still had people that. We really don't want to be niggas in the picture. Yeah, he know, I, yeah. I, I would tell niggas, I never was in pictures. Like, nah, like, bro. Like, nigga, like, I had so many memories yeah. that you chilling with niggas, yeah. puffing them. As soon as a nigga be like, yo, camera niggas be like, like yo, chill, 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 bro. bro. I ain't knowing because that. it was a mm-hmm. secret society. But it the really social was. media got everybody thinking that the game is big. Yeah. Shout to Hovane, rest in peace. Yeah, when rest you in peace see, yeah. When you see somebody like him pass, yeah. you see the community come out. It ain't a lot of us. Oh, not a lot. And it affected us deeply because deeply, yeah. it's not a lot of us. People no, think right. the game is big. The game is small, bro. Small, yeah, and true. then everybody yeah. connected. You got five branches and somebody's connected to one of those branches. branches. I'm I'm connected to Clue, right? Yeah. Clue's connected to branch is Rockefeller forever. That's Jay-Z branch, no matter yeah, what no. he do. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You got yep. people that stuck on Puffy's branch. <laughs> right. You got people that stuck on 50s branch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we come from that branch. You know? That yeah. branch, yeah. You know? like, yeah. It's, a, it's, it's a lot of different branches. How... What would? How did you connect with with the G Unit branch? Well, and Fifth as, loves you, B. Yeah, that's my like dog. like I remember when we got the news. Yeah, that was, he was going way. in. Oh yeah, yeah. I, we was there. He was like, "Fuck, man!" Yeah. Like he felt the way. Yeah, like um, my old Steve Brody from Philly. Mm-hmm. He used to do concerts. Okay, mm-hmm. and he gained a um a relationship with him. Okay, and me and him connected. And he was like, yo, I'm going to make sure, you know, I introduce you to him. And he, he, he kept his word and he did mm-hmm. that. But it was still a Wayne trial. Period. It was, yeah, Wayne I, it was period. I got to fill you build, out. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And honestly, like, I give all thanks to to Yayo because okay. yeah. me and Yayo was the one that really, really connected. Okay. And Yayo was the one that, like, came to Philly and we had a big show and I had literally 100 guys with me. And he mm-hmm. went back to fifth and was like, yo, five. This nigga Mike Knox is serious. <laughs> serious you know? This business, nigga okay. had a hundred niggas with mm-hmm. me in the club. Like he like what? So it was like I got. He's like yo, bring him to the house, and we went to the party, and it still was time because what people don't understand about him is, and I'm kind of like that in a way. Like when somebody do something to me, I'm kind of short on other people. So it's like I ain't really making no room for nobody, and that's like when the game <laughs> shit started. Mm-hmm. That's when I like came around, like right when the game shit like mm-hmm. kind of kicked off, and it was like you got somebody that you put on that you ain't know from a can of worms, and you made this nigga a multi millionaire, and he, and he starts fucking acting crazy. So here come another street guy, 
You know what I'm saying? Is From he Philly, is, is, is he, he going to act crazy? crazy too? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's so fair. it's like mm -hmm. that had to be built in time, mm -hmm. and it got built. And then honestly, I can say I don't think that I was ready. Got you. What you mean you weren't no, ready? I wasn't ready. Speak on that. I, I, I speak on that about yeah. him about things. Because yeah. me, yeah. I'm opposite. Mm -hmm. I look at dudes and I say, "You are ready," and they be like, "Where do you see it?" Mm -hmm. And I'll streamline everything fast for them. Right. I'll take care of the whether it's the thought process or even slight insecurities or, right. you know, confidence. I got you. I had insecurity. He, he yeah. talking about me because yeah. I didn't know, Every, yeah. I, I didn't know nothing about this whole thing when we started this like three years ago. Right. But he's, he, he saw something in me that I, I didn't know. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So when we first got on, well, mm -hmm. when I, when I first got on, cause he been on. Right. He was like, well, but you got the relationships. Yo, let's let's just get the people. Let's go to the moon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's you know get this one. Let's get yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Like, what are we doing? Listen, yeah. I was like, I'm not ready. Not ready, yeah. I got to get my weight up. I yeah, got to get yeah, used yeah. to doing yeah, this yeah. before I stretch myself out. Because if I do that and it's not right. It's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt me. And so I went through that. Mm -hmm. How do you... How, Go through the process of understanding how you weren't ready. I was... I think at that moment, I wasn't ready because... At that time, G Unit was yeah. the yeah. label that was one of the biggest labels in the industry. Mm -hmm. And you had to be doing some serious numbers. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you gotta think, he had Mob Deep, he had MOP, MOP, yeah, he came home and did scan damn near a million mm -hmm. just on house arrest. Mm -hmm. You know what Banks, I'm saying? Banks, Buck. Banks kept doing Buck, a million, two Buck. million every time. Mm -hmm. Then Buck was doing a million, two mm -hmm. million. Then mm -hmm. we already know what Fifth was doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Game did five, six, seven, mm -hmm. eight million. Mm -hmm. So it was like, I got to make a hit. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I had a lot of pressure. I felt like I was putting a lot of pressure on myself instead of just being, being myself yourself. because I didn't come in really as an artist. I came as a fucking goon. I was always a goon first. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And I think I would revert to that first before reverting to making the proper records that I needed did, to make. Did you ever have that convo with Fifth? Like, yo. I had a zillion conversations with like make, about making a hit record? Did you yeah, ever? you know, he used to always tell me in the beginning, he would say, you get it here and I'm going to take it there. Got you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like he, I, like I said, from him helping so many people then, I think it kind of made him like, yeah. niggas got to do this shit on their own. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not going through that shit no more. Yeah. And I respect it now because I didn't understand it then, but I respect it now. So you feel like you were a victim of timing? Bad no, timing. I ain't a victim. No, enough. not a, but like, yeah. if the game... If the timing was different. Yeah. I mean, I mean, only God knows. But 20, you wasn't 20. ready. I just wasn't ready. You wasn't That's ready. Fair. So even if the time, I think that sometimes you got to be thankful and blessed for what he had. He has the relationship, yeah. and now he Still. has more longevity. And mm -hmm. I learned a lot uh, being around uh -huh. from... That time that I felt like I wasn't, I learned so much. What, what were some things you were learning that people would never be able to understand? Jim? I got to see a lot of million dollar deals happen in front of my face. What, what's what's it like closing a million dollar deal, seeing it close? Because it's the, the chilling. Mm. <laughs> I watched them close yeah. movie deals. I watched them close drink deals. I, I watched a lot of things happen. Is it like how people think it is in the TV and movies? Because um. It's better. Because you know b beforehand what's about to happen. happen. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. we're talking about prior to me going to jail. We're not yeah. talking about At, yeah. me getting After. out. It got <laughs> different with me because yeah. honestly, I went in for, you figure I went in for seven years. Okay. So in my mind, I'm done with rap. Like, it's fucking over. Like, I start thinking that this is what they say about us Philly niggas. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it was like, I'm done, and I got a family to support. So it's like, yo, yeah, I was going to come home and get a job. No, I couldn't go and be in the streets no more. Like, honestly. You was going to get a, a J-O-B? Bro, I'm telling you, I was done. <laughs> I wasn't even listening to music no more. You couldn't wow. play nothing for me. That's how I am about about music now. I don't really li I just, I, I'm going to be real. I right. just started listening to music again. Right, I was. In the last mm. couple months. And yeah. what, happened, it's a what happened to me, honestly, so many people, when I was in the jails, like, I'm talking about the nurse, the dentist, the, the guard, they kept saying, like, you got to do something with your voice. Like, you can't. To me, it you was like a guy calling there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then, like, even my wife, I'm like, I'm telling her, like, man, I think I'm like, she was like, you know, I, I just can't see you not doing it because I know how you feel about it. 
I'm like, you know, I start kind of playing with it again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then I think when I start getting closer to coming home, it was like, right, I'm, I'm gonna doing do this, this shit. You know what I'm saying? And um, I came home, start working. And then, and then, what's the like? What was the feeling when you started working? When you know that you're that you're making waves now, and and um, that you got people paying attention to you. I I, I was kind of used to that part. But he was paying attention to me a little different. That's what I'm talking about. I feel that same way about yeah, myself. Like, we just walked in the spot the other yeah. day, and it felt like the lights came yeah. on. I said, oh, shit, nigga, you're feeling me yeah, like that? Yeah, I, like, I was shocked. Then we go to the next spot, the lights come yeah, on again like, when I walk up in there. They be spotting you, and I'm like, and, yo, oh, it's, I call it's it totally the beaming. Yeah, it starts yeah, beaming like, you. And, yeah, you know, yeah. niggas who's been wolves for so long, mm -hmm. it's a different feeling when the wolves' eyes are on you, but not yes. on some you know, confrontation or a lick move. It's more of a, yo. I could do but that I had shit, to realize, too. I had to realize I know. that. Like, I'll be, listen, I could say it now. I'd be somewhere and somebody be looking at me like, yo, Knox, and I'd be like, who? I've done that before. <laughs> I'm like, uh, who's that? Yo, you see like, me do that. Damn, that nigga look just like you. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I had to kind of get you. And she used to tell me all the time, like, you gotta, like, people know, like, they know you are. Yo, like, my wife wanna, do this, yo. Yeah, like, yo. She yo, does that. My wife be like, That's yo, your rock babe, right there. They, yeah. they are looking at you, but you got to say something. I said, when you turned your head, I did. I nodded at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you know not, what I'm saying? That, I, yeah, I'll do that. She be like, why you do that? Why you ain't talk to him? I'll like, be like, niggas, I, yo. Yeah. And, and, and niggas be looking. I'll be like, would you want to take a picture? Yeah. Come on, let's take a picture, it's bro. It's so I'm hard to I'm do it. Like, I'm yo, just me taking that picture now, that shit was hard. <laughs> yeah. That was hard. Because I'm like... I had to get yo, bro. I had to get used to it. I, yeah, you got yo, to. It's, a, it's just a part, yo. If, if taking a picture is going to keep my my popularity and money coming, gotta do consider it. it done. Yeah, you got to. I'm do a businessman. Yeah. If you put the business right in front of my face, yeah. that's what I got to do. Yeah. That's not demeaning or nothing. Yeah. You got it. I'm doing it because it, the hardest part of doing what we're doing is mm. not the actual making the records no. or talking mm. on camera. Mm -hmm. It's after the camera and mm -hmm. the mic is off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now you got to do the stuff, the marketing, yeah. the promo, shake hands, That's kiss babies. They don't understand that. Give, go out, do support for support groups and, and all you gotta that You got to believe in yourself more than everybody else. Yes, do. definitely. You know what I mean? It's, it's easy for people to just say do this and do that, but you got to get up and do it. Yeah, you know, people always think they're an expert when yeah. uh, of your life more than anybody else. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? They're like, Mike, if, if I were you, I would have did it this yeah. way. No, you don't. Yeah. You don't know what it was for me to do seven years. You don't know no, what it is for me. Because I know your relationship with Yayo. Mm -hmm. Y'all really like brothers, and y'all yeah. go back and forth. Yeah. I've heard the stories of, you'd be like, Knox, you're not supposed to maneuver like this. And you'd be like, yeah. yay. This is what I know. Like, can you like touch yeah. on? Yeah, like, I, I remember I, one time. Uh, rest in peace, K Slay. I, I heard about this. this. Hear about the story. I know about that story. K Slay came to Philly. Yeah, right. When he came in, we was in a club. He had like some girls with him or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I was in the section. I think I got up for a minute. I think one of the girls like sat in my seat. It was some goofy shit. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. like, and I'm like, I said something to her, but it wasn't like a. It was like a. You know, like, mm -hmm. you know, I was sitting here because we had brought a section. Mm -hmm. So she went to him and was like, he told me to get up. And, you know, me and him didn't have no words, but, you know, people come yeah, in. Yeah, the energy. Mm -hmm. So he calls Ye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next day, Ye calls me. Yo, son, what did you say to K-Slay? I'm like, mm -hmm. what? What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Son, it's K-Slay. You tripping in it. Like, you can't. I'm like, bro, I didn't say shit to the man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then me and Slay got on the phone and we've been like this. Yeah. We was like this ever since. Mm -hmm. I heard it, I remember like how Yeo was like, you know, what it, Slay meant to him. And no, yeah, he's, he's like, Mike, the type of style of dude you are, yeah. he's the one that's gonna hold you down. He's once mm -hmm. he's gone, our street niggas is finished. But you know why Ye no see, <clears> people <throat> don't understand when him, you gotta remember at not saying at one point, like look now, look how he's moving now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, before the internet was, he was moving like this, but Ye was a different type of nigga. Ye was the one that when Fifth was doing MTV, they didn't want Ye on the red carpet because they feel like Ye's going to do some wild shit. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But Ye really a businessman. Like, he yeah. really on his business now. Mm -hmm. So, like, now, to get him to talk is like, 
<laughs> you, you get him on an interview, he <laughs> like y'all yeah, niggas. Yeah, like, yeah, he ain't uh-huh. just going to do that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh-huh. Like, I told him I was coming to do y'all. And he was like, oh, yeah, 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 do that, Trey. That's going to be crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's just like, it's and just And I like different. how y'all all talk. Like, yeah. murder will, yeah, I remember when. That's my guy. Like, when he spoke, he's like, fifth axum. How was the interview when you was over here? Yeah. Give me the D. You know how Fifth loved the, the ignorance. People don't know all, that. He watch all that shit. He watch all that he shit. But well, he ain't gonna watch this because oh, he gonna we watch only this. talking about business. Okay. Okay. No, he'll watch it. No, no, I'm, I'm just he'll talking shit because watch. we talking yeah. about business yeah. only. He'll catch it. He'll catch niggas, it. Niggas, niggas be wanting the drama. No, I'm, I'm just yeah. talking yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, niggas niggas be always wanting the drama. Like Cormega said, niggas up here gossiping and we ain't gossiping. We ain't trying to beef with nobody. We ain't talking nothing. Because beefing is really played out. But niggas, yo, mm. but niggas, but people like hearing that. Like people like hearing the negative shit. So it's like when we trying to stay positive and be like, yeah. look at what Mike Knox is doing right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, don't, I don't even care about, about the, the Goon the, Time. Yeah, 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 what yeah, I'm trying exactly. to show people is, what look, doing we got real niggas that's on Goon yeah. Time that's saying this is what we want to do. We have Bimmy and niggas on the show on on yeah. the other show that we did, and between them niggas, they had 78 years in jail. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Niggas, three niggas. The, they, the lowest amount was 27 was years 27 for one nigga. Years. Them yeah. niggas came out and said, niggas in jail want to be y'all now. No, that's the truth. Like, when I, I was, was in... Like, hold on. I, what you better, when yeah. I was in the jails, mm-hmm. that's the truth. Like, listen, the guys that people idolize that they speak on and say, yo, he used to do this, yo, he used to do that. Man, he don't even think like that no more. He don't talk like that no more. Mm. He probably going to church every Sunday, walking around with the Bible, Wishing he could be with his family, mm-hmm. he losing family members. He ain't even thinking like that no more. Yeah. That's why when I look at certain people and it's like, they be out here with this wild shit. Like, think about it. How many, and I'm not coming at nobody, I'm just being honest. How many rappers have you seen, right? Take me out the equation. Mm-hmm. How many rappers have you seen get indicted or go to jail and cry about it? And then you'll see a family member post uh, uh, what's them things where you're trying to get a, a, a petition to get them out? Oh, like, yeah, don't, yeah. We don't do that shit. Like, mm-hmm. I know what I did. I'm going to do this time. Mm-hmm. And there ain't no, ain't no telling. The paperwork is everywhere. Mm-hmm. If I was a rap, that, they, they going to put that up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But my thing is, these rappers get on these records and they talk all this shit and say what they going to do, what they about, and what they, as soon as they get locked up, they crying. Mm-hmm. My nigga he ain't even been locked up. 365 days yet. You only been in 90 days. How's a petition being sent out for you to get out? I don't understand. <laughs> because you know why? Because a nigga like me that been in jail for only 23 days learned his learned lesson. lesson. I said this 23 day jail in Baltimore City jail is oh, not man, funny. That's a whole I never jail. It's not. It's, it's, yeah, it's, oh, niggas don't even say I was in Baltimore City. I did look at your eyes. Yo, yo, yo Bro, Mike Knox. When I, I went him. in there, when I went in there, the security, I, I went in there. The fucking the CEO was like, baby. Be careful. Yeah. I can already see you ain't supposed to be in here. Yeah. Yo, I didn't wash my ass for 22 days, son. It's crazy, bro. I barely left. I barely ate. I came out. I looked like a crackhead, son. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How did you keep your sanity for those seven years? Because people Um, see what it looks like in the movies and everything, knowing that you can't see your family, knowing that your music career is stifled, knowing that you can't even be around mm -hmm. fifth and yay. Because I know these are your people. This ain't Mm -hmm. just because you're in the music industry. This this bit was different for me. mm -hmm. I used to get locked up all the time years ago. Mm -hmm. So I think I didn't take it serious until I got there. I think the first night, is when it really hit me because it didn't hit me. Like I shouldn't even be here. Like it didn't hit me at first. I, I didn't. I didn't. It didn't really hit me until that night. And it was like, oh shit! Like I'm about to be here seven years. But I think how I know how I got through it was a support system mm-hmm. of my wife and my kids. Like I don't care what jail I was at. They could have sent me to Alaska. She was coming. You know, like it was. It was days where I'll be. They got me in a hole for damn near nine months. So, in order to get visits in the hole, she would have to be there like five in the morning and hope to be the first five to eight to see me. Mm -hmm. Never missed a visit. You see what I'm saying? So Mm -hmm. that support system of being in this penitentiary, this medium, this low, this, and knowing that I had that support system. You got something to come home to. I was able to, you know, get through it. I mean, of course you're going to have your moments. You're up and down, you're rocking moments. Yeah, life. Um, Far as the, the, the jail side, though, for me, was tough because I had that, 
he from G Unit. So now it's like people can't. I can't be fucked up in jail. Mm. In their mind, wow. Mm. He can't have a dirty pair of sneakers. He can't not have a haircut. He can't not have he no G-Unit. money in his books. He G Unit. <clears throat> oh, they ain't fucking with him. Yeah, no. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Wow. But. I'm not trying to be cute in jail, so I might get to a stage <laughs> where I'm woofing and I want to fight. You know what I mean? So I had my moments. Of course. And I had to do what I, I had to do. Like, I want to fight. I'm yeah. frustrated. Like, I, mm-hmm. I don't want to be here with you niggas. Mm-hmm. Like, y'all love this shit. I don't love jail. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you got some niggas that really love jail and you got some dudes that tougher than me or tougher than you. Like, mm-hmm. everybody they just everybody live for the bullshit. Uh-huh. You it's know it's what I mean? They live to stab a nigga. Like, mm-hmm. this is what they live for. You don't know what a nigga waking up. You tomorrow waking up to 15 to 1600 different mentalities every day. Every day. You, so now you get out. Like, mm-hmm. what are some of the business maneuvers you're looking to make? What are some mm-hmm. of the business opportunities that came your way? Well, I started my own label. Mm-hmm. I started my own label, 1722 Music Group. Uh-huh. Um, Fifth came to the crib mm-hmm. unannounced. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's his thing. Very, very, very unannounced. <laughs> and um, that kind of like just took shit to another level. Mm-hmm. I released a record called Back Block, and it just started taking off, and I just started... Going walkthroughs and getting some bags up and, and stuff like that. I was like about that. to ask you that. I like that. Yeah, you know, you know, <laughs> doing features and stuff like. That. So the bag was coming up, you know, good. Mm-hmm. And then um, I went on the road with him. You know what I mean? And I started basically like doing the security. You know what I mean? Because at that time it was like I felt the, the loyalty was like, yo, I ain't let nothing happen to my man. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And then it turned into. Me just being there and us being on, I'm on a jet. And, and you're getting paid, and then I'm he found paid. a way to pay you too. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? Like, that's real you. nigga you shit. Know Every, everybody like... say, yo, bro, everybody say it about Fifth. I I, 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 I never tell the story, yeah. right? Fifth second joint was coming out. Mm-hmm. Um, with the it was the candy shop joint, so he had yeah. MTV at the crib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Bruce Second Door, me and him had, had the same fucking accounting. Mm-hmm. So Bruce Second Door is like Randy, Randy, my real name. Yo, mm-hmm. Randy, come up there. You know what I'm saying? It's time, it's time for Fifth to see you again, right? I right. hadn't seen him in years, right? Wow. So the cameras is on. This is a big mistake that, that I did, too. Mm-hmm. I never told you this neither, Ghost. So the cameras come on. Yeah. It, yo, niggas like, yo, I used to say that this nigga's my cousin. He, he hadn't seen me. Mm-hmm. Put his hand, hand on my shoulder. He said, Randy, what the fuck you doing? I said, <laughs> I said, I manage Rockwilder. Mm-hmm. He said, you in the fucking music business? Yeah, don't go nowhere. Stay, stay here, there. right? Yeah. I didn't stay. You left? I, I was. You with, see his face? No, no, no. Let, you know. let me tell you why. I, I, I never said this on, on camera. Mm-hmm. I, I had the DJ Twins with me, mm-hmm. and I had Rock Wilder with me, and I drove, right? And they had to get back. I, I'm not understanding that 50 is a worldwide superstar. He could send me home in a, in a copter, nigga. Yeah. I should have gave them niggas my keys. I told them, go ahead. And said, yo, y'all go ahead, leave me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, and that was the last day that I saw him in that light. Now, we've seen each other. It's, right. it's, it's never a problem. Right. I always say, you know what I'm saying? But, right. th- but, that, but that was a big mistake when I always tell people that your frontal lobe is not developed. Yeah. That was one of them times where I should have just said, yo, I'm not worried about money because I, yeah. I, nigga, I, nigga, I was managing rock while I had money. You I could have took a cab home for $500. You just was on it. I just was like, yo, I can't leave the twins and the twins is like, we all came together. Yeah. We got to leave together. And that's the type of time that we... we that y'all was on. Mike. Yeah, and, and I had to be loyal well, you to said, the crew that I'm yeah. with. You he left? Said, he says you left. Because what, what, what does that mean? Because we've opp- been around fifth. That's opportunity. I know. Yeah. Like, dog was... <sighs> but I was with Rock at the time, and I had to be loyal. I felt like you got to be loyal. Rock made me a, a manager. Yeah. An A-list manager. Yeah. And I know he would have felt the way if I stayed with Fifth and let him go home by himself, too. It was a catch-22. You and know what I learned about New York mm-hmm. niggas? What? Being locked up with New York niggas. You play if you want. They going to get a bag in front of you. And if you don't move for the bag, you going home broke. Yeah. With no emotions. No like, emotion. Mm-hmm. It's no emotions. It's not personal. It's not. 
I mean, you slept on the bag. I, <laughs> <laughs> this is what I know. So that's facts. Like, I be yeah. around y'all so much yeah. that I know, and I he, start. He's like a Queens nigga. He, yeah. he ain't even a Brooklyn nigga no more. He hang with nothing but Queens. <laughs> okay, he's a Southside Jamaica Queens nigga now. Yeah. 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 I'm like a Queens. They kind of did that to me Brooklyn too. Brooklyn niggas gonna huh? be mad. They kind of be doing that to me, like Jaffe and all of me. Like, you from you from here? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I'm like, yo, but it's crazy, man. Like. But he would understand that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, understand. But, but I don't think no. he know that story. No, though. we never talked. Yo, yeah, we never yeah, talked. Like, and, and and because I knew him as a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. like, DJ Chaotic is his man down in there. Chaotic lived in the crib with me. I was the nigga. That's that how did, far back yo, it go, Knox. I, that's yeah. how, like, nigga. Me, you want Chaotic to live in Houston? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah in yeah, Dallas, that's my nigga. God, in Dallas, that's nigga, my guy. His real name, Kareem Thompson, nigga. That's my dog. That was my man. best. Me, Kareem, and Bunkin, and Fifty used to come through. He never fucked with us. Cause we was the yeah. ball players, yeah. and nigga would get on. I'd be like, "Yo, come play ball." And nigga, God bless the dead, Gaius would yeah. be like, "Yo, Gaius would be like fifth. Randy, not your cousin." He'd be like, "Yo, Randy, you my cousin." I'd be like, "Yeah, it's my cousin." <laughs> you know how everybody is. You know, everybody knows my nigga. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, it's my, my cousin. My cousin. Because, yeah. because fifty was the Golden Glove, nigga. Yeah. And he, and no, he, he could box. And, no, bro. Yeah. He wanted to, like you said, he mm. wanted to fight niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was always a nigga. Yeah. When I tell niggas, when I know niggas is tough niggas, what I do, I stay, I out, they stay out they way. way. Fifth was telling the story when he didn't understand his power boxing. Shit. And he was fighting the dude and he rocked him. Boom. And he, see, he said he saw his jaw fall apart. He beat a lot of niggas. No, he was like yo, this. Bro, yo, 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 like, yo, I like yo, this shit. Bro was big, like, <laughs> although he, he was like fatter, he was a strong, yeah. he was always, yo, he was left handed. Yeah, that I, I know, is yo, tricky. I know his whole car, we, yeah. we was kids, nigga. You know what I'm saying? God, God bless the dead. His, his, his best friend, light skin. Oh, man. I know you about to say. Oh, say, man. He died say, on a motorcycle. Oh, Kev. Yeah, yeah, Kev. Yeah, yeah, okay. Kev was my man. Yeah, it's crazy. Kev, yeah. Kev was my guy. I, I played ball. Niggas made. Kev take the sneakers off his feet so I could play ball and bought Kev sneakers when we go to Queens. Oh, like that. I was a, yeah, nigga, yeah, I was a ball player, nigga. That's Damn. why niggas fuck. I was I got pass in the hood. I was a ball player, ball son. Player. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. Crazy. And we go back long way. What, what, what's the Pause. energy like in Philly? I I just saw you with Meek, man. I was ecstatic to see that. The energy is uh, you know, musically, you know, crazy. you crazy. So many dudes came from there. You know what's crazy with with, with me and with, with me and we've been talking a lot lately. Mm-hmm. FaceTime. We come from the same neighborhood, mm-hmm. right? Get a little younger than me. We come from the mm-hmm. same neighborhood, but um, you know, with him, with Ross, and yeah, I know me it's, with Fifth. At one time, it was a little awkward for the both of us, but I wanted me and him to be able to be good because we always was good. But it's like, yo, if we run into each other, how we not going? We got to be the ones to, it's yo, chill. I'm going to get them to go this way, bro. Mm-hmm. Yo. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Because this is how, it's too much money in this shit. You know what I'm saying? And when you start to become one of the front guys for a situation like that, you got to be the man. Because they too busy to think about. They up there. Yeah. yeah so mm-hmm. they'll never see each other if we decide to go this way. That don't make nobody Suckers or pussies. No, yeah, no, nah, that's no, no, We just business. This is but like, the old, but the old state of mind. With the dirty niggas, be like, you know. yeah, we not gonna be yeah. no sucker. We not going down. We, we not, not going, going across the way. street. We not, we not going around. We not doing none of that. Yeah. We got to make the the statement. But yeah. now, when it's about the money, which I always tell people, when yeah. you start making money and you start really seeing real money, your mind changes mm-hmm. about Quickly. life. Yeah, the yeah. sun comes out, and you start saying, "Damn, this is the same sun that was out when I was tripping." Yeah, and it's like, do you really want to? See people that you consider yourself to be cool with from your city, get into it with people when you're not around. No, you don't. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's just it's kind of like senseless in a way. You and know what I'm saying? What's a? I got a question for, go for no, I, go I don't for like me. question. Go for you this close to fifth. Why you not in being meth? Canaan. I need to see. Why, why you ain't I'm doing that? I need to see. Because you, you, you got the voice. You, you, you got the demeanor. They, 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 they doing thug shit. That's Every, right up your everybody, alley. Everybody give me this question. Let me right. tell you why. <laughs> when I came home, a lot of these shows was already in production. Okay. Number one, when I came home. Number two, I was on music when I came home. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So now when you look at it, like when you look at the new show that's, shows that's about to come out, they was done. Like a year, year before, before yeah. I know. Uh-huh. And so everything is uh, a year, a uh, year behind. Uh, you know what I mean? A year ahead, rather. So now yeah. it's like when I say shit to them, like, "Yo, let me shoot some eye." 
And the, it, <laughs> like, I, I'm not even gonna get no big part. Like, yeah, you don't need a big part I, though. I'm yeah, not looking like, for you. No, you I'm can saying be a goal. I'm saying I'm telling him like I know oh, you ain't gonna give me no. Okay. Big, let me hop, hop on the hood and gun a nigga down and uh-huh. work my way up or <laughs> something. Like you know what I'm saying? Let me do some overdubs. He just laugh and be like. All right, like, you know yo, what I'm Seth, saying? If he's serious, yo, nigga, get No, that nigga know I'm serious. <laughs> no, he know he know. <laughs> he know <laughs> I'm dead fucking serious. Because he's like a shooting scene. That's all you want to do is shoot some shit. I'm just like, no, nah, start from somewhere. Let me be the trash guy. <laughs> Let them see my face. But see, what, uh, one thing about him, you know, not to keep speaking on him, but one thing about him. No, go ahead. He'll be doing what he's doing, and then he'll be like, yo, call such and such. Because... I got, right, right. Yeah, I got the gun scene for Mike. I got the scene for Mike. I got the nigga for this scene. This is Mike's scene. Right. Well, fifth, keep me and Heineken involved with it. And we got some scenes that we could do yeah, too. Yeah, and then listen, I don't mind getting beat with the innocent no, bystanders. I'm not getting shot yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting shot. I'm rolling yeah. with Mike Knox with the pistol. Yeah. No, because yeah, Mike, you're a big dude. So you're you, you going to need like a shoddy or some type yeah, of I, artillery listen, strike. As long as I can jump on a hood and just make a complete movie. Oh, you want to jump and let off? Yeah, I want to jump on a hood and just let the shit it off. Yeah. Throw it. And yo, we just be the goons. They gonna remember it because they gonna remember it. Yeah, let him do the work. Yeah. He be I'll, like, I'll yo, be I'm driving with my two niggas. He's, 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 I'll be the driver. <laughs> there, 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 there you go. He I can drive. Yeah, yeah, my two go. niggas. Mike, he tap on my shoulder. Come yeah. on. Mike, one thing, I can drive. I'm yeah, a getaway driver. Go. We might need to do, <laughs> we might just do, need to do a pilot. Yeah, Nah, for real. Where does the love for the music still come from? Because you've done so much. Does it dip? Does it just... Music is just in me. I can mm. be sleeping and be hearing music. What, what, what excites you in the music world? Is it seeing the young dudes from your town, other people you're around? No. <laughs> Yo. No, I'm just not that. <laughs> um, I, think, I think for me it's just... I love music. I, I, I was yeah. always, always passionate about music. Mm-hmm. I started doing music because I got shot. And I had a bad temper. And they was like, you need to find something to cool yourself down. I'm like, I'll take mm. out a little music and I'll start doing okay. music. Okay. So that, a lot of my music comes from experience and things I've been through. And I don't write. I write everything in my head. Mm. So um, I, I think in our city, for a while, and, I, and I've said this, and I feel like we started selling a lot like Atlanta and and and. and Chicago. Interesting. Um, but it's not a diss. I'm going to tell you why I think I think why it happened is because you look at these young guys in other markets like Atlanta and Chicago and they mm-hmm. moving their mother in houses. They moving their family. They making millions of dollars. So it's not that people are copying. They just trying to do what they think is going to get them out of their that's, situation. That's, that's what I was going to say. Formula. What's the playlist? What are people you know what listening saying? to? Like, what do they like? If they mm. like drill, fuck it. I don't want to do drill, but I'm going to do drill because I'm trying to, to get on. Especially where you're from. <clears throat> yeah, because we come from the home of the spitters. Listen, people don't understand how rugged your town is, bro. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very serious. It, you know, they don't understand the desperation. People forget that. Meek with the braids looking dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Even Gilly, all them dudes. Like yeah. When it was all of y'all. Yeah, how, about, this... how about Dutch telling us he used to fuck crack, crackheads and all that? That's what street niggas do. Yeah, I mean, See? it's just, I ain't never fucking no crackheads. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, you, you know, we did this wild shit. You all, know of us, all of us did wild shit. Though, yeah, we did this some wild shit. I ain't, I ain't touching no crackhead. <laughs> me, me neither. But, I'm a hood nigga, not yeah, a street nigga. Yeah, like, it's just, <laughs> I'm, a Philly is just I'm, I'm not a street nigga. Philly is just wild. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just it's it's wild, but but I love that town. So I love it's it. It's wild, but I yo wife, don't get mad at me. But I I went to school. Mm-hmm. I went to Morgan State. Mm-hmm. But number Philly women down there, yeah. like yeah. I I love them, and I, I yeah. love going to South Street to go buy my sneakers. Well, I can't be saying that shit. She right. I, I know that, but, that but, but <laughs> yo, she gonna be mad at me. Yo. My wife's gonna be mad at me too. But I'm talking about when I was yeah. in my twenties. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Nineteen. Yeah, no doubt, I'm talking no about doubt. the past. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Past, yeah, no but, the, but the vibe in Philly, the vibe in Philly was so dope. I'm not gonna lie. If I didn't come back to New York, I, I was either gonna move to DC yeah. or Philly. Just one of the good parts. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. yeah. you go now, because they, they got some of the spots that you be like, yo, this is beautiful out yeah. here, yeah, and well, you, you can drive in and drive out. Yeah, then you bust a right and shit. It's, it's different. Tough, man. It's, mm-hmm. it's different. Very different. Uh-huh. Philly is very different now. You have to know how to move, and that's just it. 
You got to know how to move. Yeah, because niggas saw us at the at the cheesecake spot, and I was like, yo, it's time to go, remember? Yeah. I said, I, oh, said, I, said, oh, I, said I saw niggas across the street. Yeah. I got my rolling, got my jewels on. I oh, said, yeah. I said, I said, them niggas, oh, yeah. and then niggas notice us fast now. But see, it's so crazy. They might have noticed who y'all were. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? I know that. Because Philly is like that. Philly are no, listen, man, Philly, we a little Philly different, pay attention. bro. Like, Philly will look and be like, that's such and such. Mm-hmm. yeah. Right? Like for me, for instance, this is what a lot of people do to me. Doc's right there. Now, I peep the look, but the look would be like, it might be a, damn, that's bull. Or it might be like, I wonder is that nigga really what he say? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, Knox, what's up? Yeah. And they want to see how I respond to them. Mm-hmm. They want to like, see what I'm like. Nigga? They think I'm gonna be like, Yo, what's up? Yeah, I'm like, what's up? That. And they never die. And they be like, oh, no, no that I nigga get ain't hype. playing. Yeah. Like, I be like, what's saying? up, killers? Where we going? You know, no yeah. fucking way. Yeah. No, 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 no. This nigga crazy. This nigga's crazy. This nigga's crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get him like, yo, I mean, why'd you in the car with the I mean, yo, I be to your bro. I be like, yo, bro, chill, Yeah, bro. no, 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 no. I said, I said, I said, yo, we podcasters. Yes. We YouTubers. Yes. That's our lane. That's I'm it. good with that. When niggas see me, I tell everybody, it's all love. You see what just happened with Wallow? What happened with Wallow? I mean, when they did the thing for the for the ladies, for the... I don't know what happened with Wallow. At the Target? No. So he, so he said, yo, he's like, I'm going to Target. He's like, ladies, you know, your man ain't take your Target. Take your Target. Hey, buddy, come on. Everything on me. Ooh, 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 right? So he goes to Target. When he goes to Target, Target closed. Right? So he see a couple people out there. He hit them off, right? And um, he left. So now the fucking Target parking lot got goofy. I'm talking about like all of these people out there. It's all over the internet. Right? I didn't see that shit. They snapping on it. They cussing him out. They met, but he's not there. So he's like, okay. The next day, he going this live. And they all come out and they just give him everything. Yeah. But it changed. But I'm just saying, it, it's just like that. It's so it's fast. fast. But the first one was the real one. Like, yeah. Fuck <laughs> you, you, you punk nigga. Oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like you gotta know how to. Really perceive Philly, Philly different, man. Yeah, I mean, Philly, we Philly, Philly, tough. Philly a tough town, bro. Yeah, it is a tough town. Mm-hmm. We'll look at you and like your music and be like, that. see you and won't say shit, be like, that nigga like that. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. That's how Philly that's is. A, that's the town of the spitters, bro. Yeah, it is. Like, everybody. And, like, let's say y'all two from Philly and you the spitter, right? I don't give a fuck if it's Jay Z. He gonna say, Jay can't fuck with my man. <laughs> I put the house on him and he mean it. Whether it's man hot, trash, <laughs> he mean it. Like, can't do that with my man. And gonna look at you like, I don't care, whatever y'all want back. I mean, think mm-hmm. about it. They built a jail in the football stadium, the old stadium. That's how rugged it is in that It's really a rugged town, bro. And the Eagles is cooking now? But, yeah, it's, but, but it's good, too, though. But I'm about to say, it's part. a good... Yo, no, but I, I say, yo, yeah. yo, we get so... Yo, yo. I, I get so much love in Philly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's unbelievable. Philly is yeah. one of my biggest fan base. I fuck with everybody in Philly. Yeah. I, that's why I I, I, I I just breeze out there. I, yeah. Yo, it's something about the air out there. I just fuck with Philly. Just I, call I, me, I go though. to Sixers just, games. Just, yeah, yeah. Just call me, please. I got you. I yeah. got you. I like, got you. I, I, listen, hey, I'm going to get your places. number now. Yeah, I got you. I'll take you a few places. I got you. I got you. I got you. Me and Cuz will take you a few places. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you, you know. Aside from the acting, you going to do any other business ventures, podcasting, speaking? Yo, it's crazy. Voiceovers? Man, I think, cut, voiceovers is something that I really, really want to do. That's yeah. what I'm trying to get into. It's, a, it's, a, yeah. it's, it's yo, a hard game to really get into. Yo, interesting. Yo, I've been trying to get into voiceovers. What, 10 years? About six, seven years. Oh, okay. The only time I had a chance to get in voiceover, I tell the story too. Is uh-huh. A white lady, she was gonna give me a voiceover, and she started texting me like, "Yo, what's up with that dick, though?" <laughs> was you married? No, but she was like fucking sixty some years old or something. You should have like, gave it to her. You know, <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking Bad about? He was supposed Bad to get. He was supposed to turn into Marcus <laughs> Graham <laughs> and give it to her. What is he talking about here? You about to get a job? You wasn't married. You wasn't with nobody. 
<laughs> this is the second time you fucked up, man. Let's go. He fucked up what with are you 50 doing? Cent and he fucked up with the white lady. <laughs> Look, when she said that, you could have got the bag. Yo, Mike, Mike, I'm not a perfect man. That's why I'm on this Girl, show. Listen. I'm on this show trying to tell bro, people don't make on, the same bro. mistakes that I made. You're supposed to get a drink, Hope smoke some weed and something. And, and rock off. And just go in. <laughs> and I got the job, right? I got the job. <laughs> no, nigga. Think how different your life is now. I ganked you, nigga. Yo, but listen, let me tell you what's crazy. Mm. I never forget this. This was before I went in. Mm-hmm. It was Banks' video shoot with him and Lloyd. Oh, I remember that okay. song. Me and Fifth and everybody was there, and there was some people there. I don't know if they was working on the video. or No, I think they was trying to get Fifth to do a movie. And one of the guys that was there, he was a white guy. I'll never forget it. I was quiet the entire time. Cause like when it back then when a bunch of them people be around, I don't say you don't say shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But Staying I, out the way. I think five asked me something or something. We was talking. And you said something. And I said something. The white guy was like, "Oh shit, hey Billy, did you fucking hear that?" And I'm looking like, "What the fuck?" Whoa. That's our voiceover guy right there and talking so, about so, me. So what happened, Mr. Mike Knox? I was going to jail. Oh, <laughs> oh so you fucked up the bag? Yeah, no, no, no. I was going, going to jail. jail. You were free. You, you were free to get the deal. Yo, know, Mike Knox was fucked free the bag. Listen, uh, listen. Mike Knox it, fucked the bag. Uh, I did. I did and I was going to Thank jail. Thank you, Mike. Uh, and listen, he like, yo, say this. So they printing shit out and telling me, and I'm sad, but they want me to do horror joints. Mm. I don't fuck with horror movies. Really? Nigga, I never seen Michael Jackson Thriller. I don't play that shit. <laughs> Yo, the one of the realest street niggas and fighters is afraid of horror movies. Yeah, I, 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 I don't, don't fuck, fuck with, with that them. shit. I, I just see blood he jump out of nigga trash. head. All he that shit. I can't do that. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, perfect. So they had me saying it, and he's like, you fucking got it. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I got it, but I also got this time I got to go do. Mm. So, you know what I mean? That was my opportunity I missed on that. So, I mean, but you got a label now. You, yeah. you, you, you are doing things. Are you getting your records at least on the show? Yeah, I did. Sync I got, fees I got, and I all got, that? Okay. I got my record, Work the Block, Synced in Power. I right, Sync Ooh, Fees. Sync Fees nice, is good. Under like my it. label, so, you know. So you getting your money, that's getting a your publishing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got your own publishing company? Yes, we do. All right, cool. Yeah. So oh, you're still getting double money. So you, you better know front end and you're getting the back end money. He said you're getting double money. Yeah, you're getting double money. Because I see you talking about that. Mm, yeah, you yeah. gotta have your own publishing. What, what? See, see, you can get publishing. This yep. is what people don't understand. Mm-hmm. You always gonna get publishing, yep. but in order to get the back, back end money. publishing, yeah. you have to have your own publishing what, company. What, what did you see him talking about that? <clears throat> I yeah. seen him talking about that on his page. Yeah, and I think it was one of the the, the shows y'all had. Yeah, yeah. Probably, he was talking yeah. about it, and you was asking somebody, "How do you get it?" Cormega. Like, how, yeah. Cormega. Cormega. That's who it was. Cormega Legend. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. I love Cormega, Cormega. Mm-hmm. and. He was basically saying how he didn't. He never had an issue with getting his. Mm-hmm. He named somebody that he used, but you know who brought it to my attention? Uh, my man, Mike Brown. I got a bomb to drop on you about that oh, yeah. about Cormega. Yeah. If you look at his post the following day uh-huh. that he left me because he calls me mm-hmm. and he said he realized that the potion he was talking about was performance royalties. I actually uh, oh. said something about this on the last show that we just taped because right. he because he brought it to my attention. He went home and thought about it mm. and said, I'm not getting my mechanical the royalties, mechanical royalties, though. royalties yeah. And that's what I... I, I didn't want to rock the boat with right, the right, show right. and be like, that's not what I'm talking about. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I said, yo, not just that royalty. It's, it's the mechanical royalty of when it. you're not with a record label that's hard for you to get. And people don't... They don't know about the mechanical royalty. Right. But if you have a back-end publishing company, right. they'll at least start to try to find it and you can get hire some somebody. It, yeah. You might, you mm. might get it. It's still hard. But mm. people got to get their business together and get the right people to find their money because you got money everywhere no matter where you are. It's in yeah. Zimbabwe. You and that's know what, what I'm saying? And that's, and that's what my man Mark Brown that works at Columbia was telling me. Mm-hmm. He said, yo, you probably got so much money out there that you don't even realize. He said, but I got a guy that he'll charge a fee but he can three point six percent is is, is yeah. what the fee should be. But he, yeah. if, if 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 he's not with a major company, he's gonna try to get seven to ten. Still mm-hmm. pay him. It's, still it's, pay him because it's, it's worth it. It's still worth it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because the big companies be like, we'll take three point six percent. Yeah, because you because you're a big company. But if if you want this dude to keep finding your mm-hmm. money, you gotta give him some type of incentive mm-hmm. to keep going to get your money because he's gonna have to keep finding. It. It's not a one time deal. 
Yeah, how, how long does it, the process take over time to gather? Like seven months, eight months? Hell no, <laughs> hell no, nigga. It was like I, I, I got a Beyonce credit, which you know, mm -hmm. for the jumping, jumping that's on the new record. Okay, I, and my man did the jumping, jumping. I was his manager. I got, I got ten percent of, of of his sample, right? Oh, good <clears> boy. <throat> I'm about. I, I, yeah, I yeah, yeah, don't get yeah. a stutter in there. Yeah, I get, yeah. Don't stutter in there. I get paid. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But look, but look, yeah. he was saying we thought the check was coming in September because it's mm. Beyonce, right? Mm. But I told him, I said, I doubt if it's coming that fast. Mm -hmm. He said probably March. I said no, next year September. Yeah, it's probably when I, if if I'm lucky, I'll get it next year September. It's mm. gonna be a biggie. Uh, yeah, we know that. Baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, we know. Well, you heard what you just said. <laughs> said Beyonce. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, I forgot what the fuck I was gonna say. But how long does it take? Oh, you oh, said oh, how long it takes. Oh, yeah. You said, oh, you yeah, said yeah, six yeah. months. Yeah, no, it, it could take it could take it all depends on when the paperwork is done. Mm -hmm. Because the album has to be every record has to be signed off to on the album mm. in order for you to get paid. So they'll tabulate, but if one person's not signed off on, you can't get can't the money for that album. Everybody gotta sign off. But usually because it's a Beyonce, you don't really have that occur because you mm. don't wanna fuck with her because you'll never get on the record. Nobody yeah. else will put you on the record because they'll label you as a problem. If you ain't gonna settle on the Beyonce mm. record, which you know is through the roof, it's something wrong with That's you. That's crazy you say that because because mm -hmm. that's kind of like the same way with um, getting the records placed in TV. Mm -hmm. You know, the producers and everybody got to sign off and agree to, you know, the publishing yes, and everything. Thing. Like, you know, everything. But see, what I did was I paid the producers right out. It's my man. Because now, independent. And, and, and now it's your record. It's my record. I own it. You own 100% of it now. Of it. You know what but I'm saying? See, but, so, but at least you paid them out. Yeah. So although... They're probably going to be tight later right. because they're not going to understand about the money that they missed. But yeah. that's a learning experience all, for them. You got to go. They they should have had some representation. Yeah. You're a person that understood a lot of the principles being mm -hmm. around five. Because mm -hmm. I'm hearing the lingo. I'm like, this is all five tactics. Not to say mm -hmm. that wouldn't be in you. Mm -hmm. I just think it's streamlined faster within you. You're like, oh, I seen boy do that. Boom, boom, boom. What are some principles that you're just like? To this day, I'm glad I was around to see this because I know how to. Well, you know, you know what's crazy. I think for me, a lot of people don't know I was kind of ahead of a lot of things. Mm. With I was already like doing my own thing and knowing the business a lot. You know, gotcha. I brought a lot to the table. Like I brought Benny Siegel to Fifty. Hold on. A lot of people don't know that I was responsible for that. B bringing Beanie to Fifty. Bringing Beanie Siegel to G Unit, I did that. Got you. The go off record, mm -hmm. I made that happen. Mm. I and r the record on 50 Cent's album on Animal Ambition. The joint mean, with him, Jeezy, and Snoop. I did that. Oh, mm -hmm. major distribution. Major distribution. Da, 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 da. I did that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Winning Circle. I did that. I and r those See, two records. I, I know your name for that. Mm -hmm. Not even for rapping, for yeah. that, DC. Because I always looked at him as, as, as a producer. Mm -hmm. Because I knew about that yeah, stuff. Yeah. And that's producer stuff. That's I what didn't know about it. I knew about all the yeah. rapping See, I, and I, the street I, shit. I, yeah. I knew about that. When I thought about Mike Knox, I thought yeah. about Mike Knox as a producer yeah. because I because I knew he helped to put things together. I yeah. thought he actually produced the records. No, you know what I'm saying? I, just, I know how to put, you know, I know how to make it, make it work. I like that angle and perspective too because it just shows like hey I'm seeing my mm -hmm. connections and sometimes people be knowing people and they don't put them together for obvious reasons You, yeah. what if they don't click and be like yo you brought this person in the circle but, but you know what that does too mm -hmm. that shows loyalty and mm -hmm. that shows 50 that this dude ain't waiting for no, a handout no, knows how to do other things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yo it's not important just to be a rapper yeah, you gotta yeah, know how to make money and you know what's crazy in a lot of situations when I would put them together I never would be concerned about the money I was building the relationship just, that's a lot of people exactly. don't understand mm -hmm. you gotta build now I went to I went <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give me something my man like but before mm -hmm. a lot of my relationships was built strongly off of making things happen. Somebody might call me and need to get to this person. Oh, I got you. Boop. Put them together. Like, I, I stopped a lot of stuff. That's why I get a lot of respect in the streets because I stop a lot of things because I might have been incarcerated with these guys or I might have grew up with this person and it's mm -hmm. like, yo, bro, come on. Y'all need to fix this shit. It ain't bringing really peace. Listen, man. You know what I'm saying? When you can bring peace... You're a very valuable person yeah. to a lot of people. A lot of people That's yeah. the money talk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Money talk is how yeah. can we make this work? Yeah. And when niggas' minds ain't right, you can't you can't yeah. make it. They, I don't give a fuck about no No, you no. gotta give a fuck about your livelihood. Yeah. All the time. And I, I just 
I know what you did for the <laughs> unit behind the scenes, especially mm -hmm. those legendary moments. Yeah. He told me about one when I was coming here that yeah. I, I didn't know about. Yeah. about the barricade. I'm not gonna mention it on camera. But I I'm not, I'm not gonna mention one? it. The barricade. Oh yeah. Yeah, we ain't talking I about didn't that. Know, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna No, we're not that. talking about that. We're we in a good I, space. I, yeah. I knew about the situation, but I yeah. didn't know. I when I heard I was like, that's my nigga B. Yeah, yeah. Because I've heard five different versions. So yeah. I had to put all of them together yeah. and take some out. I'm like, okay, that sounds real. The five trailers. Yeah. Oh, shit. They were surrounded. That sounds real. Mm. Everybody yeah. went back inside. That sounds real. Mm. Yeah. Shit was real. Oh, yeah. I was like, these are some thorough niggas. Cause yeah, yeah, they was, set us up that day. No, man. I know they did. BT set us. No disrespect to BT. Whoever was running things back then, they set everybody up. I'm talking about <sighs> us. Fat Joe, they put us all back there together. Yeah. That's why I said the, the trailers. I was or maybe like, they just didn't know what was. They I'm going to tell you, no, I'm going to tell you this. No, no, I'm going to tell you this. Like he said on, mm. like he's learning. These people don't know because yeah. he showed me something today about the Saweetie situation and Vlad that she didn't even know Vlad wanted her mm. to be on his show mm -hmm. because yeah, the person yeah, yeah, above, because yeah. the person above either didn't care, didn't know, or doesn't like Vlad. So right. people don't know. These people are, they are not in the loop. They mm. do not care. These people are millionaires that are yeah. not paying attention to what's going on on the street level. No, you're right, though. They don't even know 50 Cent songs right, half though. the time. They just I was, know who I he was, is. I was, when I first came home, I was like irritated by Vlad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you can't blame Vlad for interviewing somebody and they talk. Okay, he's asking the questions. But clearly, if you ask me something, I don't have to answer that question. Here's my issue, not Vlad, because mm. I told him this to his face. It's not mm. him. Mm. It's when you see these dudes get in front of him, mm. Vlad would be like, hey, so how's your day going? Yeah, Vlad, I shot 100 niggas. They give up everything. <laughs> mm. But if they come to a black platform, Hey, what's up? How was that situation? Yo, don't ask me that shit. But that ain't on Vlad. No, I'm not saying it's not it. on him. I'm saying it's on the person. Yeah. But I I don't like the energy of he don't got to do much and they'll give everything. But when it's one of us, all they of a sudden. They just hate. They just, yo, you know what I think it is? I don't like he, I'm going to tell you what I think. I don't have an issue with he's him. He's the black um, 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 hockey player like Yayo says about yeah. him. That's what Vlad is in this, in, in this space. You got to understand people hate that. Vlad, like, Okay, this is what I had to recognize. Mm -hmm. Nobody can make you say anything that you don't want to say. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Right? But I think when you look at Vlad interviews, let's say he has an interviewer coming up within the next week or two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're looking at the last interview he had. And they want to top Because it. they want to top that interview. And, mm -hmm. and they get paid, too. And they get paid. paid so, it's like, you, you getting paid, so you got to talk. Right. You got to perform. Because, bro, yeah, you gotta perform, I'm, I'm, bro. I'm, I'm cutting you a check. Yeah. It's not like when y'all go on with them and you talk yeah, about yeah, business. Yeah, yeah. When Mike Nas come, I'm cutting you a check. Right, so right. all the dirty stuff that you don't want to talk about, bro. They talking about it, but. Yeah, I cut you a check, bro. No, I don't, not to say that they're lying about whatever they're saying mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. allegedly or whatever the case may be. <laughs> but I think maybe they probably get caught up in the moment. And embellish every, a little yeah, that bit. That camera, you, you start getting hyped for that camera. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's addictive. It's, it's like a drug. We, it's a drug. It's you a see drug. what Ye told him? Yo, come on, Vash. Shut the fuck up with that shit. Like, yeah, 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 like, yeah. like, because you got to, and I don't think, like, I don't think Vlad really understands. I don't, you don't? Really, no, because I don't think he's doing it purposely. Now, I don't. I think in the beginning, I felt like, man, he's setting niggas up. But I'm like, he ain't setting them up. They just fucking telling them. Oh, yeah, he's not saying that. He's asking, asking the question. Yeah, yeah, he's asking the question. But, but you know what it is? It's so much views. And what you said was is a very key point. Mm. I don't want to be the one to have a Vlad TV interview that only did 20,000 on a That's channel. what it is. It's pressure. It's you a lot of pressure. It's pressure to perform. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and if you look at the interviews now, it's kind of cut down how he's doing it. Yeah. Before, you would have three or four different interviews with people. Now, you have, like, you see, yay. You're just CA. But he's giving you key pieces. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, and we know how real Ye shit is, but mm -hmm. it's just like overall, like, like now you with him, you see Ye or you see Boosie. Yeah. I feel like Tony Gay is part of is part of Vlad TV now. Like every I time mean, I see it's, him, it's him and, Vlad, it's, it's, it seems if like, it's not him, it's Boosie. Yeah. yeah. Because they both, I, I would love to see them two. 
Oh. Yeah, and Boosie do a podcast. That's together. crazy. Oh my God, it's crippling. The yo, internet. yo, yeah, yo, and Boosie doing the podcast. Yo, we got to be. But yeah, got a podcast now. Yeah, no, he I, got two. But it, yeah, but even if they just did a segment together, this shit would mm-hmm. be crazy. Yeah, yo, said he looking for me. Tell him I'm yeah. available. Nah, he not. He not looking for you. No, he came on my page to be on the show. He came on my page. No, he told me. He told me. I spoke to him. I spoke to him. Yeah, yo, let him know because we could. We'll talk behind the scenes yeah, how much yeah, things yeah, we yeah, did yeah, yeah. for a lot of other situations. I used to walk in the G in the office and he was in there every fucking day, day mm-hmm. making a habit. Mm-hmm. He was, matter of fact, he was there for the first time I came in when I got out. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, when I got the bottles and all that shit, remember? Oh, yeah, nigga. <laughs> they, you, let me tell you how annoyed we were. Because <laughs> you wasn't there for the F and Vodka era. Let's close it. No, I, Yo, I was Mike, in. Mike. I was in. Not Mike. That was, I wish I knew him. We were getting cases. Oh, Fuck shit, bottles. Right. I was supplying baby showers, everything, bars, all of that. That shit was crazy. When the champagne came, they're like, yo, you know, y'all yeah, can't man. even get a bottle cap. You can't she, even get a champagne cork. Yeah. So when you came, you were like literally the first person to get yeah. a case. Yeah. And remember, that champagne is three, four hundred dollars a bottle. Yeah, I, only got, I only said fifth threw me a bottle. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> this is when nigga, because nigga, because nigga, we, we, we gonna wrap it up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, me, me and Clue at the um at, at the Super Bowl. Right. Yeah, and Clue doing yeah. and Clue doing fifth party after we left Snoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Clue doing fifth party, right? So. We over there. I just got on. This is fifty, right? right just right, got right, on. Right, I, just, right. I, I just got on in January, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so my wife is with me. She like fifty mm-hmm. ain't fucking with nobody in there, right? You know he ain't giving Mike. nobody shit. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> him, him and Clue is hot, 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 hot and cold, hot and cold, right? No. So yeah. hot and cold. And Clue, and Clue, and Clue is, is my best friend. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I've yeah. never been around fifty, even try to squash it or nothing, right? I so, think you could. Yeah, I, I think yeah, I could. Yeah, yeah. So Clue's right there. Fifth is right there. So my wife, I said, I'm not going over there because he got his goon and shit. <laughs> I, I don't even want to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm, saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm being honest yeah, with you. Yeah, I, see, yeah. I see Fifth, I'm like, I don't want to deal with the goon. Yeah. We seen Fifth and Self joint. And they like, yo, go over there. I said, yeah. it's too goon down. I don't yeah. know it how. Was He's a cancer yeah. like my father. Yeah. I don't know how he going to be this day. Nah, he be chilling though. Right? So, but but real shit. Yeah. So I, I go over there. So, so my wife is like, yo, he's staring you down. He see you. It's dark in there. Yeah. Randy, Randy, Randy. Yeah. He see you. You cannot be on this is 50. And I go over there. I say, yeah. I don't want to be in. The, just go over there. Yeah. I, I, I go over there. So his back turned on. Per- as soon mm. as I walk over there, his back turned. Right? Yeah. You know, I so I, so <laughs> I, I, I reach over to tap him. So his dude is like, yo, bro, you going to make me lose my job. Please don't tap him. I said, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, real shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna wrap this up. This, this real shit. He said, bro, you gonna make me lose my job. I said, yeah. yo, I feel you. I know how he is. Yeah. My bad. I said, can you just tell him that Randy's here, whatever? So he so he he, he leans over, so fifth chill. Then he hit me with the Oh, all right. So I reach over. Yeah, 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 I said, yeah. he said, yo, Randy, what's good? So I reach over, I said, yo, I just wanna tell you that you got the star. You know what I'm saying? The Hollywood yeah, yeah, yeah. star. You represent Southside Jamaican Queens, nigga. Yeah. You the king of Southside. I said, guess what? He said, well, I said, I got married. He said, the hoe got married. <laughs> I said, yeah, this yeah. is my wife right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he yeah. met my wife and I, I, I dapped them and shit. So they took the picture of me. That's how the niggas got comfortable with posting me on yeah, fucking yeah. 50. Yeah. Right? And then right after that. He gave you the bottle. He threw the bottle, nigga. Made me the superstar in the section, nigga. Niggas was like, yo, 50 said it up a bottle. Cause he had them bottles. Yeah. Like, yo, 50 said, yo, send my man the bottle over. Yo, you know what's crazy? Nigga passed mm. the bottle. You know what's crazy that you say that? I can guarantee you, whoever taps your hand and hits you with the, you gonna make me lose my job, that wasn't one of the homies. Okay. That was one of them club niggas. All right. We don't even talk like that. And that that nigga's like, yo, is you gonna make me lose my nah, job? And I, I was like, I was like, so I'm saying, yo, bro, I said, I said, yo, I'm, yo, bro. Nah, I'm went, cool. Went with the homies. You know what I'm saying? So the niggas, but, but as soon as he threw me the bottle, yeah. it got crazy in there, and all the goons was out. My wife was yeah. like, "I'm scared, Randy. Can we go home now?" <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't nobody. And I said, "Okay." Yeah. Niggas like, "Yo, you gonna leave? And you, you you just got the bottle?" I said, "Yo, the bottle's y'all's." Yeah. And then Betters gave us a bottle. And oh, then Brett they bought, J. Yeah, that's my yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. I've known him guy, before. That's my guy right there. i have known since '06. Man. Yeah, Jay yeah. Betters, hardcore. All hardcore. Those my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corey, yeah. So. Before we wrap up, mm-hmm. what's your next thing that you leaning into? So you, well, so you I got, got the, the music. I got the, I got the uh, single coming out called No Cap. I got the video with that coming out. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Um, I'm about to start working on my own documentary. Ooh, okay. You know what I mean? And give them, for a while, I was kind of like, I ain't going to do that. But it's time. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do that. And um, 
do a and, few other things. And yo, when you movies. get in the movie scene, TV and back scene, boys yo, project. yo, mm-hmm. when you get the TV scene, no word to my mother. I'm your goon. Come and get y'all. I'm the driver. driver. As soon as Fifth say to yo, you gotta be like, I got my own team. I got you. I ain't gonna get the part. No, I'm talking about on camera. I'm talking about on camera. I'm talking about on camera. I'm not talking about the 50. I'm talking about on camera. When your part come, when you gonna see me, you gotta come with your own team. I got my driver. I'm gonna handle it. That's all I'm saying. Look, Mike Knox. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, that's Comment, super thanks. Shout out to Mike Knox, shout yeah. out to G Unit, shout out to 50 Southside Jamaica Cool. Yo, yeah, follow me on Instagram, man. man, at Mike Knox Official, right now. No, nigga, they know your Instagram, man, Mike Knox Official. Man, you gotta tell them, man. And, and yo, shout out to Philly. Yeah. We got a lot of love for Philly. Yeah, definitely. And Philly got a lot of love for us, and we appreciate y'all. Just Word call up. me when y'all. Yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah. Please don't go get no more cheesesteaks without me, man. <laughs> He said, don't go to Ishka Bibbles, go to Max's. I'm going to Ishka yeah, Bibbles with my I'm going to Max's. I'm a Max's dude. You a Max's dude? Yeah. They like, so majority so, rules. So, so you get, so Ghost he's greedy too. He probably get through. Go, Mike oh, yeah, Max's yeah, yeah. ghost just turned on me just now. Listen, my cousin don't like Max's though. He he like, Yo, it's other spots. It's other spots. Max is too greasy you know for me. No, but I'm saying before you go to Ishka Bibbles. No, I like Ishka Bibbles. What's so bad about Ishka Bibbles? It's It's dry. It's I, like, like, I like that. I like it's that. It's like it's the Ishka Bibbles is like that every once in a while, but that's not like. Well, that. maybe I'm going. Everybody with like from that. New York go to Ishka Bibbles because mm. that's our flavor, probably. Me, I used to go to Max's. Yeah, me, I'm Max's all day. Yeah, all day. I like the hood to get you a hood, yeah. yeah. hood cheesesteak. I like the hood cheesesteaks more, especially some of them corner stores. Yeah, but y'all gotta eat the cheesesteak there. Y'all can't take the cheesesteak home. You no, just told I eat it there. Yeah. 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 You said no, you eat it there. I'm saying eat it in Philly. Don't take the cheesesteak no, home. No, that's what we do. Put it in the microwave and shit. We don't do that. No, I eat it there, nigga. You like you take the Maxi steak home? No, 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 no. We bring the champagne. Yeah, you gotta take half that. I eat the whole thing. The whole thing. You don't eat the whole. You not eating the whole. I eat the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's good what you talk about. Yeah. Max's joints no, is No, I can this. eat the whole thing. He eats the whole thing. Bro, you're Max's. not eating that no, Max's bro, whole thing. He eats six pizzas. He eats six slices of bro, pizza, you bro. talking about the whole Max's yes, cheese he thing? Does. If, if I, even if, if I'm working, he does. I'm jogging, it's, he, I seen him bro, do it. Bro, wait, 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 wait. I seen him wait. do it. You know how Max's cheese thing is? Yes. They got the half one, Mike, and then they got the half. Mike, Mike, that half. Mike, that's Mike, pussy. Mike, I saw the movie. Pussy. Mike, I saw the movie no, in Philly. Yeah. I, I do this. Yeah. I saw the movie in, in Philly, in the hood, right around the corner from Max's. Right. He went to Max's. We pulled up. He ate the whole shit on the hood of Max's. I said, what the fuck, oh, my nigga? nigga? Yo. Oh, oh, yeah, his lady need food stamps <laughs> fucking with <whatever. laughs> You ate the whole the cheese steak. Whole if, I cheese out, steak. if I'm working and jogging, I... It's melting. I'm, I can eat anything. I'm like telling I'm a you. vacuum. But if I'm not bro. working out and I'm settled down, I, I can't. can't eat no whole max of yeah. cheese steak. No, light, bro. Light. Bro, I can bro, eat I a bring, box of cheese. What pizza. you mean he ate half? No, no. Later, bro. I ate the whole we motherfucker. Gotta go, bro, he ate the whole thing. But we got to talk about this Mike, 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 yeah. Mike. <laughs> But my thing is, I bring the champagne from New York right. so I can eat the whole shit and drink my champagne in Philly. That's oh. how I do it. Yeah, I'm that's not taking that shit home. Yeah, you eating it there. Yeah, nigga. I'm taking my champagne if they don't want to let it in. I pour it in my cup. Right there. And then we pop do me, nigga. Yeah. Next, time, next time I'm taking y'all. Uh, right, we outside. We, we outside. outside. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. The whole yeah, team. Bro.